Well, I thought, now that the MCU has officially died, a yes. horrific burning death, mm-hmm. um, we could go over our ranking of all 41 MCU projects. Yes. And you can include what if if you want. I'm not. I won't. I, uh, I, I'm not going to include it. But, so yeah, we could go over our ranking, just kind of, like, briefly go over, like, go from 41 to 1, um, and shout at each other for terrible takes. Yes. I, I like maybe like the top t- 15, I'd say. I think, so I'm intrigued. Yeah, like for me, I think, so I have, because like, it, it's funny because most of my, <laughs> most of my top five Guardians. <laughs> but um, <laughs> same, same. Um, my, I would say like, from like, like, like on my list, the Wolf Force one, I think from like, um, from like, I don't know, like 25, no, like 20, like 20, 23, 24, like downwards is kind of the last stuff I, I'm like either mix or I don't like. Yeah. Everything else I'm like, it ranges from, that was fine to amazing. Yeah. It's like, yeah. So 41. 41. Well, what is your worst MCU film, Aaron? For the Dark World. Really? Mine is Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania is 40. Yeah. My 40 is Iron Man 2. That's fair. Um, yeah, so my 40 is Quantum Mania. 39, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Nice. Mine's uh, <laughs> Thor The Dark World. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, nah. my 38 is Iron Man 2. Okay, okay. My so, 38 is Black Widow. Black Widow. Ooh, okay. See, my, see, Black Widow's behind high for me. 37. Yeah. Four Love and Thunder. Oh, I fucking look like a proper misogynist here. Captain Marvel. Fuck off! Yeah. Captain Marvel's that low! That's, oh. you're a misogynist. <laughs> you hate women. That is, look, I, I, I don't like Captain Marvel yeah, that yeah. much, but fucking hell. That is actually bad, to be that's, fair. That's, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> that's, come on. No, but I don't remember fuck all about that movie. Even, I remember some even, sequences. Even the worst of, say, Thor, Love and... Like, Thor, Love and Thunder is fucking abysmal. But there are... Captain Marvel... of that movie I like. Captain Marvel's like a 5 out of 10 for me. It's like, fine. That's the thing. For me, Captain Marvel is so fucking inoffensive mm. that it becomes fucking <laughs> It abysmal. becomes offensive? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's got nothing going for it. Whilst at the very least, Thor, yeah. Love and Thunder, I can point to maybe at least two things. I'm like, that's not dreadful. I think for me, like, I... Because, like, for... Because, like, for the Dark World, they're quite quantum mania. Yeah, they're, like, yeah. 40, 41. But they're kind of roughly the same. Yeah, that's for me. Like, so... Th- like, for me, I kind of would put them on the same. Quantum mania at least has a decent performance from Jonathan Majors. Yeah. Like, that at least has that. Whereas Dark World, I'm like... Yeah, no, that's fair. No, like, no that's my thinking yeah. with shit, like... With Captain Marvel being so low compared to... You can't think of why, like, much... Like, you can't think on... Of I don't even think Brie Larson yeah. or anyone's any good in it. Yeah. Uh, my 36... I just had to look at... I just fucking try and read a number. And Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron. My 36 yeah. is Eternals. Oh, that's a good shout. Eternals is such a fucking slog. <laughs> it's such a shit. <laughs> it's... I... Watch... Yeah, because I, I didn't watch that in cinemas. Like, I... The films I missed in cinemas was, like, Shang-Chi, Eternals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't be asked. I that's jock behavior. Fucking hated the tales. Yeah. I I literally was like, this film feels like it's been on for four hours, and I yeah. looked, and I had like two hours left. Like yeah. it was fucking awful. It is so bad. But she made Nomad Land. They filmed outside. <laughs> Kevin Feige learned what grass is. And uh, my thirty-five is She-Hulk. My thirty-five. I hate women. <laughs> you yeah. hate women clearly. My thirty-five. Multiverse of Madness. Really? Yeah. Damn. Multiverse of Madness is a piece of shit when Sam Raimi's not involved. Like, yeah. Like, like for me, it's a one and a half star mm. like film. But the only reason why it's like not one star it's is Sam because Ra- yeah, yeah, like because yeah. I like the Sam Raimiisms, but everything else in that fucking movie is dog shit. That's fair. Like it is a terrible movie. I should clarify that I'm still on my one stars. I yeah I for me I'm one star up. Two, um, I'm Man and the Wasp. Only, only, only two of them are one stars for me. Yeah, yeah. But then I have a lot of one and a halfs. Yeah. I have, yeah, up to, like, like from I'm Man and the Wasp up to Most of the Madness, they're, they're one and a half. Okay. Well, so still pretty low. Speaking about I'm Man and the Wasp, that is my 34. 
I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite, my favorite four, is Age of Ultron. Nice. Age of Ultron's terrible. Yeah, I like the trailer where it's like the. The trailer is. The trailer advertises a different movie though. Yeah, different movie. It advertises like a scary, dark, like movie, and and what you get is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, One Division is my thirty-three. My thirty-three. Yeah. This might be a hot take. Okay. Loki. Really? Because Loki... Under one division. Loki is so boring. Damn, okay, <laughs> me, okay, okay. I... There's, there's elements of it that I like. Yeah. But by the end, I was bored. See, I... That, that's what it is for me. Is I, I quite so like bored. the last two episodes of Loki. I don't... See, I think for me... I think the first four are weak as fuck. What... For me, I was kind of the opposite. Yeah, I yeah, liked yeah. how it started. Yeah. But then the last... But, but, but then it was like, well, then by the end, like, I, by like the last two, I was just... That's see that's because almost every other MCU show that's what it is for me except Loki. I think Loki is the only one for me that finishes mm, stronger. Yeah. Though I, I I'm boring. I like. The yeah, I mean like I don't. Talking. What is I don't I don't hate the ending. I yeah. just I just didn't care by that point. I just felt empty. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Uh, my, my thirty two is Love and Thunder. My thirty two. Yeah. Black Widow. Yeah, that's fair. Because I think what it is to be fair is I do kind of have a bit more of a soft spot for like the espionage yeah. Marvel stuff, which is why I'm kind of excited for Secret Invasion. I, I only mean kind Loser. of, like 10%. Because yeah. I, do, I do like that like side of Marvel. Yeah. Like I, you know, I, yeah. But, yeah. Loser. Yeah. No, no yeah. Right, right, this is one, this is a hot take. Okay. And this is one that purely comes from me not having seen this film in about 10 years. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say this. With the complete, um, like completely just admitting that if I was to watch this again, it'd be higher. Go on. Captain America won. But I haven't seen it in 10 years, so I literally, I don't remember it. Oh, wait. It left no mark. Oh, wait until you see where it no is No mark. Me. I do need to watch it again, though. Fancy one. Yeah. One Division. Yeah, that's fair. One Division, first three episodes, fantastic. Yeah, I agree with that. And then everything after that. Shit. Completely downhill. Shit. Absolutely shit, 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 dog shit. 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 Absolutely just. I hate what. Like, I can't. Like, ooh, here's like three really interesting episodes. That is such a fucking litmus test on how good of a person someone is. <laughs> What's your favourite episode of One Division? <laughs> like, the first three episodes are like really great. There's like yeah, elements yeah. of like analog horror a little bit in them, and they're like kind of like they're kind of unnerving to watch because you could tell like something's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then episode four is just like, let's just explain everything. Let's just. Fuck all this. Who cares about mystery? Yeah, it's such a shit. shit. It's so, like, it just completely falls apart after those first three episodes. My 30 is um, Eternals. Eternals? Yeah. My 30, which might be a hot take because it is a little bit higher than, I guess, like some people expect. She-Hulk. Yeah, no, fair enough. I I don't think She-Hulk's that bad. You're a She-Hulk defender. Like, I... You fucking love that. She-Hulk, she, She-Hulk is a uh, five... Out of ten for me. Yeah, that's fine. Like I think it's fine. Like I really that film like that show gets way too much haze. Like I, I genuinely like mm. that finale is dreadful though. Yeah, like don't don't get did is some awful stuff in it. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, but yeah. I like did is you could do a lot worse with Marvel. Yeah, no, like, I agree. Because 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 to me like there's some fun stuff in it, and yeah, I do yeah. think there's some decent like jokes in it. I like that joke where Wong like. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that, I like that one. Like, that's that was the funny. only one. <laughs> and my twenty nine is the Incredible Hulk. That's also my 29. Fuck. Same, same place. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Same place. Uh, um, it's fine. I like it. It's fun. Yeah. I, I, it's, I have it at one and a half stars. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but Jenny, I remember I rewatched it somewhat It's recently. fine. Like, it, um, I, I can't believe it's got a 2.5 on no, letterbox. That's insane. It, it's, it's, it's fine. It's bad, but it's not anywhere it's watchable. near as bad as the worst of the MCU. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like like... You're telling me Quantum Mania yeah, exactly. is better than that fucking movie. Get um, real. 28, Multiverse of Madness. 28 for me is 4. Really? I like I you like the Dutch angles. You don't like the Dutch angles? I like the Dutch, like angles, the Dutch angles, yeah. Angles? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the, the best part of the film. I think what I like about 4-1 is just it kind of has this, like, it's very dated. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but that's kind of the charm. No, I, I like Thor, as yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's got this kind I of like, weird I like charm. The angles. <laughs> um, my 27 is Civil War. I thought it was the best film I've made when I first saw it. When Same. I was, when I was 10 Same. Or whatever, however, how? 13. When I first saw it, and I was like, holy shit, the superheroes are fighting, and like Spider Man came on screen, I fucking screamed. And now I watch it, and I'm like, oh. oh. 
May 27. Yeah? It's very, very, very controversial. What is it? It's Black Panther. Ooh. It's a two and a, it's a two and a half for me, or five. Whoa. Black Panther to me is a weird movie. Yeah. Because I think the acting's great. I think on paper, it's got a really interesting story. Yeah. But uh, it, the way it's executed, I don't like how yeah. I don't like how Killmonger like is just not in it. For yeah, like a large yeah. portion of it, and like most of it's like about like Andy, like Andy Serkis, like getting up to just being a goofy little lad. Yeah, just being a goofy little lad, and then like, yeah. like and it's like because they show Killmonger, he just disappears. Yeah, it's like oh here he is again. It it, it has this weird thing where it's like the structure's weird. Yeah, but like, and I like what they're doing with Killmonger. And I think he's a decent villain, but I also don't like that they killed him off. Yeah, didn't like that. I thought they the kind final of, fight is potentially the, the MCU's worst. Third act is one of the worst. Phil I've seen. Yeah, I think, yeah, and I think yeah. that's why it's so low for me. Is yeah, that's that fair. it for me? It's such the highs are high. Yeah, but the lows are so fucking low. No, I haven't got it that much higher. Mm. Um, so I'm not gonna like criticize you. It's just because when people talk about the best ones, oh no, people everyone's like, fuck, which I, 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 I still see. It. I don't get it. I don't. I really don't get it. Like, I, it's just yeah. Um, twenty six for me, Doctor Strange. Twenty six is Captain Marvel. Really? I actually like a little bit more than Black Panther. Fucking hell. Which is a hot take. <laughs> Is this when I say, like, simp? <laughs> I mean, Brie Larson is very, very attractive. She is. But, you know. No, Captain Marvel, I, I... No, I was going to say I see why. Captain Marvel, I, I don't... I really want to like Captain Marvel, but I can't... I don't know, something about it for me just doesn't click. I think... I think it's... Captain Marvel! Is. Captain Marvel has a similar issue, I think, with She-Hulk, where it just gets a lot of hate. I think where, honestly, it's fine. Yeah. Shitty villain, Um, but I like the 90s aesthetic. I think Nick Fury's really good on it. He's sure. A, I think uh, like Samuel Jackson having a lot of fun. Um, I just it's one of them. It's just it's fine. Like yeah. it's one of them. Like it, 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 you could do a lot worse. I think with yeah. with, with Captain Marvel. I think it, it's not the worst you know movie, but like I don't know. It, yeah, I think I think the problem with Captain Marvel is Brie Larson. Yeah. Because not because like you know I'm a fucking sexist who like hates Brie no, Larson. No, I, I think I just don't think yeah. she. I think the problem with Captain it, it's a strange thing of the worst part of Captain Marvel is yeah, Captain yeah. Marvel, but everything else around Captain Marvel is like pretty decent. Yeah. And it's true. like because Captain Marvel to me because I think the problem is I don't her character is so flat. Well, she no, has got like, like a personality. I think fucking so like, looking at the Marvels trailer, I think Brie Larson looks really fun in that. Yes. In Captain Marvel, it feels like she hasn't figured out the character. Yeah. And so, what you would kind of end up with is this character who isn't really a character. Yes. And so, I, and she's kind of fucked. Like, I don't think she could have given a good performance because then the character is so fucking flat. I don't know what you mean, yeah. That the rest of the movie, for me, kind of flatlines. Mm. Because you're just watching boring MCU action with a character who I just don't care about. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just. I mean, also as well. Also, the villain she. Yeah, and and also as well for me personally, like I hate villains. Uh, sorry, I, I hate. <laughs> I, I hate. I hate. <laughs> it's not like villains. No, I mean, I I hate. I love good people. I hate. <laughs> I hate superheroes where they're just like absolute fucking gods. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you know, like Black Adam. Yeah. Where it's like he's just like he's I don't. Sick. He's sick. Yeah, and it's like that's why like, you know that's like why Superman has never really been for me. Yeah, yeah. But why like I'm excited to see James Gunn tackle it is because like I don't really like Superman as a character because he's so fucking powerful. Yeah. That there's just no stakes. No. Exactly. But I like with um, but like with Captain Marvel, it's the same. Once she becomes like the Captain Marvel, character, she's such a fucking like god. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. I there's no stakes. I mean, the, the CGI is also pretty rough. It is. In Captain Marvel 2. I think it's a bit boring as a film. Yeah, I think for me it's just, it's, it's inoffensive. Like, yeah, that's it's fair. So you can step on in the back of the and you won't want to kill yourself afterwards. Speaking of um, terrible endings, 25 is The Falcon and the Winter Soldier for me. Interesting. Yeah? My 25, Shang-Chi. Really? Shang-Chi. I, I like Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi has a great 40 minutes. <laughs> that, fi- that first 40 minutes, yeah. I think it's great. Once, once the rest of the movie happens, no, the, God, the dragon is me. fucking abysmal. Lose I me. love Tony Longmo, and mm-hmm. that's enough for me. I think for me, yeah, it, like, I just I love the first forty minutes, and then, mm. but I, I, what it is is that I struggle because I think you know they've got a good director, yeah, and they've got a cast who want to do you know what like 
it, 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 it's a film like Multiverse of Madness where you want to elevate it yeah. over the usual you know, Marvel slop. <laughs> like, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, it struggles because it can't get away from that. So when Shang-Chi, like the first four dimensions of Shang-Chi are great because the action sequences are like really dynamic, yeah, and really yeah, well yeah. shot. And like then, actual action sequences. Yeah, and then the rest of the film, they just give those up. Yeah, it just becomes once CGI. it's the CGI dragon, I check out. And it's like, what? but I like I like the rest of it. Mm. It's not yeah again. It's similar to Captain Marvel. It's it's head offensive. Yeah, like that. it's you know you can have it on in the background. And um, twenty four Black Panther for me. Oh, twenty four Miss Marvel. Wow, you fucking. I don't the, know. This is this is why episodes one, two, and six. Yeah. Ah, uh, some of the, well actually episodes one, two, three is fine, and six. So with the best stuff from the MCU. Yeah, that's fair. Fantastic. But then when you take that detour, yeah, it completely destroys. See, the I show. completely agree with you, but I I like one, two, and six enough mm. to where I'm not too bothered by the fact that four and five. See, are, that's uh, yeah, that I think that's really yeah for me that like broke my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, whereas like episodes one and two, I'm like, this is like, this could be like You're top just salty five. as fuck. Yeah, I'm like, this could be like top five MCU for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, then I just, it just isn't. That's fair. Um, Loki for me is 23. 23 for me? Yeah. This will come forever. What the fuck do I... Fucking hell, I was nice. Um, <laughs> that film is long. It's a long film. It's long. But, high highs. Yeah. And again, a lot of these, right, Name from, from, um, this is She-Hulk. From She-Hulk, yeah, up to I think basically up to Wakanda Forever, they're all two and a half. Oh, I'm still in the one and a half. Jesus Christ, God, you hate these movies. I hate cinema. Um, so yeah, for me, yeah, it's high highs. Yeah, yeah. The low lows, but the highs are so good. Like I think it's got a fantastic like first like half an hour or so. Yeah, like fantastic, and then it kind of you know like. Once like the name or stuff takes centre stage, it kind of it it becomes a bit of a slog. Yeah, like, especially yeah, when the like um, Americans start getting involved and shit. When fucking yeah, when it's like Elaine from Seinfeld and yeah, yeah, yeah. Bilbo Baggins going like a wacky side <laughs> adventure. Uh, Remember in that film when like the presidents like we're, like like we're gonna wage war with Wakanda and that yeah. just never gets brought up again. No, that's what I mean. The American stuff is weird as fuck. It's like that they, they could they should have just cut all that. Yeah, else. no, easy. You could have cut out like fifty minutes of that. And that it would have been. Much better taste. Uh, 22, I've got Hawkeye. 22? Yeah. I've got Doctor Strange. Yeah. One. Um, it's fun. Cool visuals. Yeah. Uh, I like the end of them. I like the visuals the whole, like, cool. dumb, like, dumb armor. Like, I thought that was cool. That's, that's, like, cool. that's like a clever way of like, yeah, it's, it's like different. A, it's like a funny little Yeah, it's, it's different. Like, I, I think from, from this point on, this is where I start like, Really liking them. Mm, this nerd. is where, like, oh, like, this is where I'm like, yeah, like, I like these. Nerd alert. Shut the fuck Speaking up. Speaking of, um, <laughs> no, I, so I've got 21 Thor because Dutch angles, Dutch make angles me are cry, cool. And I love it. <laughs> uh, and that's like, uh, everything else about Thor, I'm like, eh, on, mm -hmm. but it just, it looks different. It looks nice. And so yeah, I, it's, it's, it's well, it's well, it's I'm, well I'm willing to put it this high <laughs> for that reason. 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ant Man. Okay. I think I'm on one is good. I think it's cute. I agree. It, it's cute. Like it, I've it's, got it. It's low somewhere. stakes. And like, yeah. this was about low stakes. Like, like low stakes MCU at this point was like really good. And I yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I, I really, it's fun. It's not the best. It's it's a freestyle movie. It's like a perfect freestyle yeah. movie. It's not the most, it's not the, the I best I think there was a I've period in time where Iron Man was my favorite. It's fallen a bit since because I'm just a bit less convinced by the villain and the plot. Yeah, yeah. But... Um, Paul Rudd's performance in it, I think, is one of the MCU's better because it manages to toe the line decent, of feeling yeah. human whilst also feeling quippy. And it does a lot of things the MCU does a lot well, mm -hmm. which is fun. Yeah. Um, Ragnarok, I've got 20. 20 for me yeah. is Homecoming. Okay. Um, it's, yeah, like, it's weird. Like, Ragnarok's decent. I mean, it's, it's a lot higher on my list, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, it, is you it? enjoy a Taika Waititi film? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it he, is actually. He only releases flops after <laughs> Thor Love and Thunder. Right, Ragnarok's a lot of fun. But it, yeah, but like, Homecoming is... It's a weird movie because I think there's some cool stuff in it. The villain in Homecoming is, is great. Yeah, I like the villain. I hate how Spider-Man looks and moves in those movies. Yeah, that's fair. 
um, which really hurt it for me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I hate that. I hate the Iron Man stuff. Yeah. It's one of them. It's like, I just get sick. I, I just want a Spider-Man movie where he can just be Spider-Man. <laughs> like, please. Um, we've moved on to the two stars. Okay. Holy shit. I'm on three stars for a while, I think. No. 19 is Black Panther Wakanda Forever for me. Oh, um, okay. I don't know why I've got this. I, I think I, I like the... The, like, the good stuff in Black Panther Wakanda Forever is genuinely good stuff. Yes. Like, but it, it is, it's such a slog. 19. Yeah. Maybe a hot take. Okay. Avengers Endgame. Really? Wait, wait till you see what's above Avengers Endgame. Okay. Um, I, it's just like, it's one of those movies where I'm just like, it's, it's fine. See, I think Endgame, I've seen Endgame a few times. I still think it's fucking phenomenally paced. And yeah. that might be a hot take. I it, don't know. It's it's decent pacing, but I just I still like the movie that much. To be That's honest, fair. for me, it's just I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't really like the obviously yeah, I mentioned before. Like I hate the third act. I see. I with like we're like fan out all the, the, the yeah no, the big fight itself. The fun service has its ups and downs. Yeah, I really enjoy the first act. Mm. Um, I like the second act quite a lot. And then the third act for me has ups and downs. I, I genuinely like Endgame quite a lot, as you will see. Um, <laughs> but I get I can get why people are like, Ugh, Yeah, yeah. It's gross. Um, 18, I've got Ant-Man. 18. Yeah. That's an interesting one for me. Yeah. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You've got it higher than Endgame. Yeah. That's kind of base. Because the first four episodes yeah. of Falcon and Winter Soldier, I figure great. Yeah. And really interesting and quite brave. Yeah. yeah, oh, like yeah. With, with some of the stuff they were looking at, like, like some of the stuff they look at. Like, I love the idea of, like, looking into the Winter Soldier, like, program and, like, uh, and how, like, some of them were, like, black people and, like, how, like, the racism at the time, like, basically they weren't able to be yeah. Captain America and stuff. And that was a really, a lot of this was really interesting. And obviously, the, um, the new Captain America, Wyatt mm. Russell, fucking sick. No, John Walker and, like, is fantastic. Fucking incredible. Yeah, great character. And then the last two episodes, shit the bed. Yeah. The last five is boring, and then See, six, it has Falcon just be like, just make a speech. And it's like, it's shit. It's like, yeah, that, no, like, 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 those, is, like, those last two episodes just scream, like, COVID rewrites. This is the weird thing for me, is I, for Miss Marvel, I can forgive the bad easier. Mm-hmm. And, and appreciate the good more. Yeah. The Falcon and Soldier, it's the, it's, it's the exact opposite. Yeah. Where I kind of... I, I hate the bad a lot more than I forgive the good. I don't know why exactly. Um, I don't know. I think, for me, the one with thing with Falcon and Soldier is John Walker. Yeah. Well, Miss Marvel, I think, has a lot of interesting things going for it. So, probably something to do that, but, eh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. It, it, it's one of them. One like, and a half. This is, for me now, these are three and a half. Okay. Because, yeah, like, yeah, because, yeah. again, like, with Falcon and Winter Soldier, like, for me, it would be, like, four and a half if it still, if it still kept going with the first four episodes. Because I, I, I really like yeah, the start yeah, yeah. of, like, Falcon. Like, I think they're great. Like, I really... I like the chemistry between, like, Bucky and Sam. Like, I really do. Yeah. Like, I do like the chemistry between those. Like, and again, it's espionage, MC, yeah, which I do yeah, like. Yeah. like I, I do enjoy that stuff. Um, but, yeah, it, it's not... It's one of them. It's, just, I, it's such a shame those last two episodes. So shit. Yeah. No, such a shame. That's fair. Um, 17, I've got Spider-Man No Way Home. I have. I fucking hate nostalgia. I have Spider Man Far From Home. At really? 17. I honestly. I loved it when it came out. Yeah, yeah, Far yeah. From, I, I like kind of. Um, I kind of softened on it over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still think it's a good movie. Like, I still think it's a really fun movie. And I like, think Far No, Far From Home is fun. Yeah, like. Far, it's like, just fun. Yeah, I like, think that, that's my yeah. thing with Far From Home is, is from start to finish, it's just a fun movie. Yeah, like, it's not a masterpiece, but no. I do. But I do think it gets. Like a bit too much hate. Yeah. There's some terrible stuff in it, but like it's yeah. like I've said the fucking bus scene where everything's fucking CGI and oh, it yeah, looks yeah. horrible. Like but I think it's fun and I, I really like Jake Elnard as um stereo. No, I like Far From Home more than No Way Home. No Way Home for me is fucking I mean it's just it's fan service the fucking parade. Yeah. Like it, yeah. it is and and I think the plot outside from that is weak. Mm. Um, I, I know people fucking love that movie. And I'm not going to take that away from people, but I definitely have my problems with it. Mm. Um, Moon Knight for me is 16. 16 for me. Yeah. Avengers. That's fair. 
it's fun. It's Avengers. It's fun. It's, like, yeah. Avengers are fun. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, it's not... There's some stuff in it that's weak. Yeah. It looks bad, like, visually. For, although, like, some of the CGI is decent. And it's like... But it's just fun. Like, it, it's just a fun, light movie. Like, it's it's exactly what it needed to be. Yeah. And, like, as a, you know, as, like, the culmination of the first phase, like, you really can't complain. No, Avengers does everything it needs to do. Well, the majority of things it needs to do right. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just it's just a fun movie. Again, I think the best of MCU generally is just fun. Yeah, um, like yeah, it's just yeah, it's just a fun. Kind of get into. Yeah, it's just a fun movie. Fifteen. I've got Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Fifteen. The Winter Soldier. Yeah. Ooh. What have you got? Fifteen. Civil War. Okay. Civil War is good. Yeah. Civil War is like, it's not the best. Yeah. And that's kind of the the thing where it's like, you know, it, it's. Again, like, it, 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 it's a strange movie because I definitely, when I watched it, I was like, oh my god, this is incredible. Yeah, it's like yeah, the best yeah. film scene in my life. But when... Then you were enlightened. Yeah, like, when I, I like, like, over time, and I softened on it, but honestly, like, I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. But it is one I still think about a lot. Yeah, that's And it is fair. one where I'm like, honestly, if I watched it again, I could see it bumping up. I do, but I there's some like really the fucking, brilliant stuff in it. The fight scene, the main fight scene of the film, I do actually genuinely in like. In the airport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one, yeah, because a lot of people don't like that one, and I get it. I get why. I get why. It's not the most visually pleasing one. No, but... But it's not bad. It's, it's fun. Yeah, like, it's fun. I really like the third act, like, of, like... With yeah, the, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I really like that. Um, I just, I don't know, like, I, I really liked it, and, and I appreciate it as well, like the tone yeah was quite like i really appreciate that as well they never really it never it's not too funny no they're trying to be funny like you know there are bits of humor and stuff but i think for the most part it's like a it's a really solid movie i think they handle spider-man in it quite well which i yeah I, yeah yeah it's like it, i remember it's, walking yeah, away from that decent. going fuck yeah yeah like, spider-man's it's, it's, back baby it's yeah like i think it's one i kind of want to watch again kind of think if i did i could see it bump and high yeah. on my list but like it's it's fun. Like I it don't know. Fun. I do. I, I I think again. I, I do think that one's a bit overhated in yeah, the Marvel. Yeah. Like why? Yeah, no, I agree yeah. with that. Um, fourteen. I've got Homecoming. Fourteen for me. Yeah. Moonlight. Yeah. See, Moonlight for me is a case of, um, like first. I think episode. What is it? What's the episode where it's like the the really trippy one? Episode five. Five. What are the best like? One in five. Ever? One in five. Mm. I really like. Yeah. The rest, uh, six, fuck me, uh, six is bad. So again, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a typical MCU show. I think I think what I appreciate about it is like episode five is fantastic. Yeah, but I think what I also appreciate is just it it, it can stand on its own. Yeah, the episode six is terrible, obviously, but like it. I like that it doesn't try to lean too much. We're like, oh, Marvel references. It, yeah, it exists yeah. on its own. Yeah, and that's kind of what I want the Marvel. I can't imagine that's what it should be. Fucking Avengers Secret Wars, you know what I mean? Yeah, like for me, I would want the like Marvel shows to be like more like Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah that yeah. I could just kind of stand on their own. Yeah, rather than them being like you know all like kind of semi sequels to like yeah. stuff like Falcon and Winter Soldier and stuff like them just being Wonder you know Vision. yeah like they're just kind of yeah I think I prefer. I <laughs> oh boy. Um, thirteen. I've got the Avengers. Oh wow! Yeah, I thought I like it. I I'm think surprised. It's I, I like think it. it's fun. I don't hate all movies. I bet you don't. <laughs> Thirteen for me. Yeah. Werewolf by Night. See, I got Werewolf by Night twelve. Bro, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at you. It's cute. It's good. Yeah, it's it's cute. Like it, it's not the best thing in the world. I no, like, but scary. It's cool. Like MCU's first attempt at like horror is always mm. like. It's it's fun. I yeah. I like the whole black and white aesthetic. I like the what's it that's man thing guy. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> I think what I appreciate is just that you know Michael Giacchino just got to be like you know it's just given gotta be a simple guy. Yeah, it was, you know he was just given a bit of money. I was yeah, like, hey, yeah, yeah. go on. Just got no, and I think, I think there are some that. good stuff there. Hmm. Yeah, like it, it's like the writing's not great. Yeah. The writing's the worst part of it. Yeah. But I think everything else is good. I love how it looks. Yes. The yeah, look of yeah, it. Absolutely. I love like the way it's shot. Like yeah, like it's not it's not the most incredible like fucking Marvel thing ever. But it, I don't know, it, it was fun. Like it's it's decent. Yeah. No, like, I, I, I 
I like it. For the special presentation, I kind of want more of That's that. the thing, is is the first special presentation, it genuinely excites me about the concept. Yeah, like, it's a cool concept. Though, like, yeah, like, like these interesting little one-offs where maybe yeah, people yeah. get to experiment a bit. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so number 13, enough 12, I mean. Yeah, yeah. That for you was... It was Werewolf by Night. Werewolf by Night. 12 for me. Okay. No Way Home. Well, we've, yeah, we've already touched on it, but, um... I mean, it's fan service the movie, innit? Yeah, it's fan service the movie. Um, I will say, I, I wrote a fucking article about this. Um, I hate what it's done for the multiverse. Yeah. Just generally. Yeah. And I kind of hold that against it. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, I, I can agree with that. I think it just, for me, it's got a lot of issues, but again, just, I, think, I, I do think the way it handles the fan service. Yeah. I almost the way you hate that introduction scene. Everything else, I think, is really well done. Yeah. And I think it handles it quite well. The chemistry, I think... I think the ending is fantastic, like the last like five minutes mm. and stuff, and it's like I think it does a lot right. And yeah. I think like yeah, because like 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 because in this list now, these are, like the ones that I would say like I really. We're like, basically top these. ten, aren't we? Almost yeah, like all of these I would say like I confidently really like and really yeah. enjoy, and like yeah, like I you know it's like it's it's not the best, but it's not. I, th- th- there's been worse. Yeah, and it's like no, definitely. And I think when the film, I mean again, like one thing I will give the John Watts films all of them is they're very light and very fun. Yeah. And they're, so, they're very watchable. Yeah, like they're very like, like they're very good at just being kind of like background movies. Yeah, exactly. Almost. Whereas like and like this yeah, it, it again, like it's just cute fan service. Yeah. And all that, so it's like it's I can't hate it for that. I did smile seeing the fucking Andrew Garfield, so I I am part of the problem, but when I saw like Toby McGuire and I may have like tried to like hold back to you because oh. I'm a little pussy. Oh. Uh, eleven, I've got Far From Home. Oh, I like that movie. It's good. I like it. Mysterio's fun. Um, it's silly. It, it's it's a fun fucking holiday movie. Like yeah, it's ba- It's great background noise. Exactly, and that's that's. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a backhanded compliment, but it's a compliment <laughs> Look, nonetheless. I've given it two and a half. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, my number eleven. Yeah, Iron Man. Really? The first one. Yeah, I really, I really like Iron Man. I'm surprised you got that low. The top ten for me. Okay. Are, well, like, yeah. My ten You'll is. See why. My ten's Infinity War. Infinity War. Okay. Yeah. My ten. Yeah. Hawkeye. Okay. I. You're the only person in the world that Hawkeye. Yeah. I. I don't know. I. I was like really surprised by it. I. I. I had like no expectations. I get why. And then I what? Yeah. Why? Why do you think I love it so much? Because like, well, one, the espionage angle. Yeah. And then two, the fo- it's just like light entertainment in phase four, which is a soul-destroying experience. Yeah. Also, as well, I just like street level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like how street level is. I like yeah. how, like, you know, because even fucking Spider-Man has, like, fucking... No, exactly. Iron Man. It's like, but I like that Hawkeye is like, no, it's like, you know, the the big end and, like, yeah. big fight sequence. No, I, I appreciate how Hawkeye build. is fucking... <laughs> it's like, like, it's genuine entertainment mm. it, it it commits yeah to being like a Christmassy buddy cop yeah like show which it i like to- totally commits to it it's fun and i really like it for that but that's good that's fun it's a um, fun way to do that speaking of fun i think the first two episodes of miss marvel which is my number which is my number nine <laughs> are the most fresh and fun thing the mcu has done yeah potentially period shame about four and five shame about the rest of it oh Sh- uh, <laughs> my number nine yeah Thor and Ragnarok. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, You're a Taika Waititi dick sucker. It's funny. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is funny. It, 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 it literally is just... My mum's favourite Marvel movie. It's, it's one of them. It's The story's a bit weak. Yeah. The villains. A total waste of Cate Blanchett. Oh, yeah. But it's really funny. The first time I watched it, um, I was sat in the front, the front row of the cinema. Fucking hell. Yeah. How was your neck after that? It was rough. But <laughs> I think it gave me a real appreciation for the movie. Nah, it's it's fine. It's fun. I I, I like it's it's just genuinely a funny movie, mm. and I like Taika Waititi's comedy generally. So it yeah, works. yeah, like it's it's I don't know. Like I I thought it was like decent. Like it, it's really fun, and like yeah. just and it, and it is like super funny. It gets so it to do some like, fun yeah. things. Yeah. And um, eight for me is Shang Chi. Eight for me. Yeah. I am on three. Wow. Okay. I love. I am on three. Is my number seven. Really? Okay. Yeah. I love Iron Man 3. I think Iron Man... Okay, it's like... So, okay. From Iron Man 3 onwards, yeah. these are four and a half Fuck. for me. I love all of these. Fucking hell. You're a Marvel dick rider. Well, yeah. So, for, yeah, from, from Iron Man 3 to 
Okay, okay. I'm not right, saying right. which one's five. But Iron Man 3, I love. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it's great. I love the twist. Um, Shane Black, like, even though he doesn't do too much, like, he's obviously still working with mm. the Marvel formula, I think he does it quite a bit. Yeah. With it, like, subtly, by making it a buddy, like, cop movie in a way. Yeah. Like, and I don't know, like, I, I just thought it was really good. And, like, it's super, super underrated. Oh, no, absolutely. I do not, like, okay, I get it. Like, the Mandarin isn't the fucking... But, like, I don't know. I thought it was a really clever twist. No, I like, I like the whole Mandarin thing. That was a clever twist. I, like, I, that was quite brave of yeah, Marvel I, to I do really something like that. that. Yeah. Iron Man 3 has a lot of shit going for it that I really like. Like, yeah. um, I just think it's it's over underrated as fuck. Yeah, it's like it's insane. It's like and also it's funny because it's like a competent like end to a trilogy as well. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah. would have been happy. I mean, fucking Age of Ultron just ditches yeah. all that stuff. But like it's 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 like a solid like end yeah. to Iron Man. Like as it's like it would have been like a decent like trilogy. Not absolutely. Um, number wait, who were you also number seven? Number seven, a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Okay. I it's just fun. Fucking loved it. It's just it so much fun. It is so cute, so yeah. fun. It's just it's really funny. Yeah. Like yeah, it's it's just fun. Like no, it's, exactly. it's it, it's something that I'd love to just watch every Christmas. Yeah. Like I really want to watch it. Like I just want like eat like every Christmas just watch. That's cute. Like just watch it because it's so nice and so like. It's just funny and it's short as well. Oh. And it's like, yeah, it's like 40 How long minutes. Is it? 40 minutes, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't waste, you know, it's, it's really well paced. No, it is. And it's gorgeous. It's just, it's fantastic. I fucking Evan love it. Bacon. It's really good. Icon. Well, number six, I've got. This is. Wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to change it, make a quit alter. Number six, I've got the holiday special. Uh, I will tell you what was above that soon. What's your number six? My number six. Captain America, the first Avenger. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I now okay. This might be a hot take. Yeah. Everything from First Avengers up to my number one are five stars. So First Avengers are five star. Yeah. I interesting. What it's I fucking love the vibe of First yeah. Avengers so much. Like the forties, like like it is. I need, so, I, need, I do need to rewatch it. It is. You will honest to God, right? What? Watch it again. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it is. That's another one. It's underrated. Like, yeah. it's really underrated. Like, okay, yeah, Red Skull's not the most fucking complicated villain, but, like, it's just a really well done, like, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's just a really well made movie. It's very simple, but it's just well made. It's charming. Like, I, just, the aesthetic of it is fucking sick. Yeah. Like, that kind of 40s, like, kind of World War II propaganda. Like, yes, like, the fucking Star Spangled Man, like, sequence in that film is beautiful. Yeah. And it's, like, it's just a really well done movie. Like, it's, it's like, what, like easily one of the best. Fair I, I don't get why people, like, are so kind I, I do, I need weird. to rewatch it. Yeah. Because uh, I do really think I'd appreciate it a lot more now. But I, I just have, yeah, I just literally haven't seen it in years. And mm. but it really I, is, like, the one of, yeah. not much of a mark when I was seven, mm. apparently. Yeah, like, people, people forget. It's fucking brilliant. Uh, five, I've got Guardians 2. Guardians 2 is also five. Hey! Yeah. Uh, Guardians 2 is fun. I think the second act isn't great. Yeah, I Guardians 2 is one I would like I would like to watch again. Yeah. Um, because it's one of those where I'm like I'm like I remember all these sequences, mm. but I'm like I know there's a Honestly, big chunk of it. I really no no exactly the same. So I rewatched it the other day because mm. my girlfriend was watching the first two movies, mm. um, and the first act I think is really solid. Mm -hmm. The third act I really like. Yeah. And then there's the a mid there's a middle of the film yeah that just kind of disappears from the memory the second the film's mm -hmm. done. It's it yeah like it, it's five stars for me but to be yeah. fair that was when I first watched it yeah, yeah, yeah. so it is one where like you kind of want to watch it again to yeah. see maybe if it will like a lower or will it stay high but when I when I watched it in a cinema I remember I loved it yeah so it is one of them where I'm like okay like do I need to watch this again but. It's Guardians. It's Guardians. I fucking love it. Like, it it's, and my number four is also Guardians, because it's Guardians 1. My number four? Yeah. Avengers Infinity War. Okay. I have a Russo's... Well, I have I have a Russo's Brother film with five stars. I have, I have, well, I don't have a Russo's Brother film with five stars, but I do have one in my top five. <laughs> I Gross. adore Infinity War. See, okay, so my big problem with Infinity War is everything that isn't the Thanos storyline. Mm. I really don't like the Captain America shit where he's going around standing in labs and going. <laughs> I, I just find all of that really fucking boring. Mm. Um, whenever it's not Thanos on screen, mm. it's like... Uh. Yeah. Then I think the, the actual Thanos storyline, I think, is genuinely I think, solid. I think for me, one thing I do love about it is I love 
how unafraid that is to raise the stakes. Yeah. Uh, oh, the ending is superb. I love the ending. Is one of the absolute best moments in a blockbuster. Shame, uh, it, shame it was ruined by the fact that we all knew Far From Home. Well, yeah. Know. I mean, well, my my defense of that is, I think that's fair. Yeah. And I totally agree that yeah, it, it does hurt it a bit. But I think for me, it's like that's not necessarily the film's fault. Yeah. Because that's just how it is. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? So it's like the. It sucks. It see to me, they should like like to me. The the idea would have been anything after the end game. They take a year off. Yeah, they don't yeah. talk about it. But then but money exists. Exactly. Like fucking Sony were releasing trailers for. That's fucking, so funny. Fucking, With Tom Holland yeah. in the front going, guys. Shh. Yeah, it's like oh, okay. Yeah, obviously, obviously you're back. Obviously yeah, yeah, everything's yeah. fine. Like fucking hell. But like yeah, like I I just love Infinity War. Like I think the ending is incredible. I think. Um, Obviously, Thanos is great. I yeah. think just I love how emotional and dark it is. Yeah. I think it's it's to me like it is a perfect like yeah. This is what this is all culminating to. If this makes sense, why we built up. Mm. It feels like the stakes are just so massive in it, and I just yeah. I think it's and honestly, the Russos do a decent job directing it. There's some really like which is weird to say, but like there's some really decent shots in it. That's some really well made. Like there's, yeah. there's there's like there's like a really good long shot I remember of like. When um like Thanos's minions or whatever like come to and it's like a long oh, shot. Oh yeah, I, like, know, I, know what you're I really like that shot and it's like I, yeah, no, I like. I don't see, I don't see that last scene with the dust. Like yeah. that's also fantastic. The action in Infinity War, I also gen like. Well, aside from the big just battle against the fucking mm. nameless blobs, but I, I enjoy like the fucking you know the one where they're all fighting like all the scenes where they're all fighting Thanos. I think are really mm, fun. Yeah. Um, at three, I've got Endgame. Endgame. I wow. Genuinely think Endgame is one paced really well, mm-hmm. two just a really solid film. Mm-hmm. I just like. I mean, I, I talked before about a lot of the stuff I like about it, but no, I I am also a Russo Brothers dick rider. Anti cinema. My number three. Yeah. Is Winter Soldier. Fucking hell! You love the Russo Brothers. I know. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like. Okay. Well, I like. I like Russo Brothers up to twenty eighteen, and then no, so, then, that, well, okay. So obviously they got that job based on their work on the Community Paintball episodes, <laughs> which is no, but they did. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they, they got their. They, it was their work on Community in the um, Community episodes. You are a Russo's dick rider. Yeah. Jeez. Well, I, I love their work in Community, which is so their work in Community, which was inspired by like eighties action movies. Mm. Um, they that's how they got the job for fucking um, Winter yeah. Soldier and then became the world's biggest anti-art <laughs> critics um, well, anti-art supporters anti-art yeah there, you know what I mean <laughs> um, yeah Winter Soldier is fucking sick yeah no, there it's, are some great it's fantastic I love it it's I love the tone of again espionage but it's the best one ever with doing that yeah fucking love the twist with S.H.I.E.L.D. yeah thought that was brilliant i love how now it's weird because i think i think a lot of my love for winter soldier extends to how it affected um agents of shield yeah because i am a huge shield like agents of shield dick rider okay like like okay. like in the mcu agents of shield would probably be like number three fair play and then like winter soldier would be number four yeah, i yeah. at least the first five seasons i've ever seen I haven't seen the last season of Shield. So you're a massive Agents of Shield dick rider, but you have not seen the last season. I've not seen, yeah, because that's I, weak. Yeah. That's weak mental. The first five seasons of Shield are yeah, genuinely yeah. better than like most of MCU stuff. Exactly. They're fantastic. But how how the stuff in with the Soldier affects Agents of Shield is incredible. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think so I think a lot of why I love Winter Soldier is kind of that association. That makes and sense. And how watching both of those at the same time how they sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. like came together and how brilliant that was. Yeah. Like how I just thought that was genius. Okay. And it's like so I think for me like that because because that was when like I used the shield actually did have a connection to the MCU. Yeah. So yeah, when yeah. things were happening in the MCU, like it actually Yeah, like, things were fucking happening. So like something like, would happen. And so it was like, because it, to- it totally changes S.H.I.E.L.D. as a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's so strange, because like, cause, like, the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is like a series, like, ooh, case of the week kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, And then that stuff happens, and the whole show just totally, That's sick. like, flips. That's like, sick as well. The tone changes, everything gets, like, super fucking, like, it just gets fucking bleak. Yeah, like, yeah, because yeah. it's like, every- like, you know, because like, it's like all these resources, the answer S.H.I.E.L.D. in, like, one episode, it's all just gone. That's like it's f- the way they did it. It's fucking brilliant, That's and it's sick. like yeah, it's the way. And it's like so. I think it's that kind of association with how yeah, those two yeah, yeah. come together, which is why it's so high. 
Um, but no, I just love it. I think it's great. Yeah, fair I enough. Just think, yeah, I, I love like the Winter Soldier music. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the coolest themes they've ever the done. The elevator scene's also cool. Exactly. It's just it's, it's a good no, movie. Yeah. A bunch of good action scenes. Um, my number two is Iron Man. Wow. I rewatched it not too long ago. I'm just really it's it's really great, enjoyed yeah. it. It's, it's really great. Got a rawness to it that the MCU lacks. Uh, mm-hmm. It's genuinely funny. Um, Rob Downey Jr. is really good. Mm-hmm. Like, it just works. Yeah. A lot of it just works. I really like, like, the first hour. I yeah. really like. Yeah. It's just... Uh, I mean, I think the villain's obviously quite weak. Mm. But it gets a lot right. And um, the camera work's also, like, all right. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, just, it's just a good film. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, no, it's good. It, it, it's it's good. a solid blockbuster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A solid, well-made, funny, just... Like, it looks gorgeous as well, yeah. visually. And, like, fucking John Favreau never did that again. But, um, where, where did he go? <laughs> my number two. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Nice. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it just came at the right time. It's, it's one of them. The like, most fresh feeling MCU thing. Yeah, and it's one of them. Yeah, it's like, yeah, okay, the villains, shit, blah, 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 but it's just great. It's, yeah. it's so, like, it's so funny, it's so emotional, it's so just everything about it. It's just, it's fantastic. Like It works. There's so much style to it. There's so much personality. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Like, it really is just, like, it's such an incredible statement mm. from, like, James Gunn. Like, no, like, this is mine. No, again, I rewatched that recently, and, yeah, I, I forgot how good the ending is. Mm-hmm. Um, and, it's like, just how good, it, yeah, it's just... It's, it's well written for a Marvel film, which is kind of crazy. Yes. Uh, I, yeah, it's it's genuinely quite funny. Like, genuinely mm. really funny. I like it. It is, yeah. Good film. Good music as well. Yeah, the music's Even fantastic. though I hate whenever someone says that. <laughs> uh, and then number one, I think both of us have the same number one. Yeah. Guardians 3. Guardians 3. There's no need. We, you know, we're not going to get into massive detail. Yeah. Because we've already covered it. It's just... Depth. It's... It's just incredible. It's just a good film. It's just an incredible film. And it's like... It's the perfect emotional payoff. Yeah. Perfect emotional payoff. It's funny. It's upset. It's heartbreaking. It's everything I want in a film. It feels like the complete the MCU film. Yeah. In a way that Endgame didn't. Yeah. It feels like an MCU film that actually has like an anthem. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, one of them... You know, one of them and I like. almost sobbed. So that's a, yeah, it's a it's, win for James Gunn. It, it's, it's the most emotional experience I've had with a Marvel film. And oh, easy. Like, the... Biggest couple as I can give it. Oh, watch massively. 40, 40 of these. Fuck her now. Fuck me. We've seen forty one. Where okay, generally, whereabouts would you put what if? Like we like just just as a quick quick last note. It's probably like low end. Yeah. It'd be like thirties probably. Yeah, no, I'm Shit. thinking about thirties. It's like it's like 30. one and a half stars yeah. for me, so it'd probably be wherever those are. <laughs> fucking love that you just make an anthology show and then say fuck anthology. We yeah. want serialization. <laughs> 